I'm not an economist and I'm certainly not a mathematician. There might be all sorts of problems with that sort of line of theorizing, but I, I see it as distributed decision making. That's, you know, a consequence, at least to some degree of, of the max, maximum free choice among the individuals concerned. I know there's such thing as market failures and et cetera, but am, am I way out, way out to no, lunch no, no, you're in Friedrich von Hayek territory. I mean, you, who, you know, makes this argument in a very classical way uh, because information is diffuse in society. And the idea that a central bureau government uh, fiat uh, could effectively manage all the different trade-offs and coordination problems and relative valuations and so forth, you know, the computer is not big enough to be able to do that. And moreover, the information is not in one place. The information is in the hands of many, many different decision makers. Engine that makes that intuition of yours work is prices. It's the fact that people are seeing prices. The prices carry all the information they need. 